Hey guys, it's Unblessed Data here, and I'm coming to you with my first review on the Marvel Select Deadpool, and this is the variant. And I really like this figure, so decided to do a review on it. First review, so here we go. First things first, and I'll start off with the articulation. So the articulation for this figure is pretty good for a Marvel Select, not that bad. So here we go. The head moves back and forth and up and down. Not that much, just a little bit, but still very good. The arms do not have that much articulation, but still have some. So not that much, just a single jointed elbow and just a swivel on the wrist. So it's not that much, but it's okay. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, waist articulation that doesn't move that much. And the ball joints on his legs are not very good. They don't move very good they're kind of stiff and it's not just because it's right out of the package it's kind of like it's like that all the time so if you see this is how much it'll move up nothing more so that's not very good it's got double jointed knees and it moves a little bit for the foot not that much so that's about it this figure is very nice comes with a load of weapons but before we get into the weapons just get into the figure a little bit more very good detail on this guy. If you look at his face, I'll zoom in right here. It's got all the deformed scars and look that the Deadpool is supposed to have. So it looks very nice. I give him some props for that. So that's very nice right there. It's got a lot of uh, pouches and, uh, you know, like this is a grenade right here and a knife. And there's another knife on his uh, leg there. But it does, the weapons don't come out of that, so I was a little disappointed about that, but I can't really do nothing about that. The paint's real nice on him. He's got some shading in him, which is always nice to see. makes him look a lot more realistic. And if you look at the leather on him, it looks very much like leather, and I really like that about that of this figure. He's got two pouches on the side of his legs, and the guns stay very nicely in the pouches. And his feet... There you go. So, there's the Deadpool. Very nice figure. Like it a lot. So you just want to see him. That's what he looks like. Very nice. Now for the weapons he comes with. He comes with a bunch of weapons. Just to start to get this, just to start off, here's one of the weapons. It's this nice sword right here. Very nice sword. Looks pretty good. Most of the weapons come with these little uh, like, uh, rivets, I guess, on the side there that help it stay in his hand. One thing i got to say is that the sword is pretty big compared to his body. If you see that, that's just the blade, and it's more than half of him. Very nice sword, though. I like it a lot. He comes with uh, a couple guns here. So here's the first gun. Just let it zoom in. There you go. Very nice. Looks very much like a gun. Nice detail on that. It's very nice. And again, most of the weapons do come with these little ridges on the side, on the handles, just so that it stays better in his hands. It's very nice. And for some reason, I would want this more pointy, like on the edges and stuff, because it doesn't look like kind of like a weapon to me. It just kind of looks dull. I don't really like that about it, but still very nice. And he comes with two of these handguns. There you go. These look very, very nice. Very nice there. The one big complaint I have about this guy is that he's very tall. So there he is right there. But compared to uh, the, new, the newer uh, uh, Deadpool here, new Hasbro one, Look at the size difference on that guy. That's a big size difference. So I have to say, I, you know, he's a little bit big for, uh, for his for Deadpool. But even if you look over here, look at this. Even compared to the Hulk, he's almost as tall as the Hulk, which I know that's not right there. Look at that. He's just as tall as the Hulk. 
So there's a little bit of a problem there too. So overall, he's a very good figure. A lot of detail on him. It's a very nice figure. And he also comes with a base. I have to say the base is not that bad either. It's, it's the back of a wall here. I'll just zoom, just zoom out for a minute. It's the back of a wall. Very nice. I like it. Goes good for Deadpool. And it does come with bullet shells all over the floor, which make it look very nice. And a broken wall in the background with a bunch of bullet holes. So it looks very nice. Looks very good with Deadpool. So if you want to see him with him. There he is. Just let him back there. And there he is. Very nice base. Goes good with Deadpool. So I must say, this guy is very nice. I like him a lot. I recommend him. And he's not the best Marvel Select action figure. And he does not really go that good with uh, the Legends. But nonetheless, he's very good. I recommend him. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you liked it. If you like my videos, subscribe. And remember, Deadpool's watching you.